Hello, welcome back. Today's video is long overdue and it's how to clip in your hair extensions, a full set, and the halo. Now, who better to partner with for this video than Lexi Hair? They have been my go-to for hair extensions for over a decade, not only because of the high quality, but their amazing customer service. Now, I wear their 180 gram seamless beige blonde clip-ins and I love the seamless collection because they have this super thin silicone weft which just lays nice and flat against your head. It's very comfortable and easy to conceal which is ideal if you have like thin or fine hair. Whereas the classic collection it has a stitched weft so this is going to add a lot more volume at the root and this is ideal for thicker hair. Now since Lexi hair is such a large range of colors and types of extensions I just use their quiz on their website to determine the best extensions for my hair. And then I use their virtual color match tool to find the perfect color. And most of their extensions are multi-tonal, so they have subtle highlights and low lights. So even if you're off a shade or two, they're still going to blend and look very natural. Now I will leave links to everything in the description below. First, the best way to clip in a full set of hair extensions. Section off your hair about one inch above your neck, pushing against your head to help create a clean line. And tightly secure all your remaining hair up out of the way. Now start with a three clip weft with all clips open. And quick tip, if you have short hairs at your neckline, clip in your weft underneath your section and it will hide all those small hairs. If not, clip it on top and for extra security, map out where your clips will sit and gently tease and miss those spots with some hairspray to create grip for your clips. But the great thing about these extensions is they have silicone grip on the inside so the clips are very secure. Place your weft close to your scalp and start in the middle. Roll your clip back and insert it up and into your hair and close it. And then repeat on the sides. And adding curls can help to blend your extensions, so I recommend curling after you've clipped because curling your extensions with your real hair will create a natural blend. Next, section about one inch above your previous, so just about your height, and then clip in your second three clip weft. And you can use your fingers to lift your section below your clips to help the teeth of your clips grip more hair. Next section, two inches above your previous, and notice that the section is above my ears. This will allow us to use the four clip weft, taking us around the sides, giving a nice blend. Same as before, start with your middle clips and starting right middle and then left, and then clipping the sides and lifting that lower section to really get the teeth in there. And if your extensions are long, this wand from Lexi Hair is a game changer. The barrel is extra long, making it ideal for curling long hair. Now, one inch above your previous section, place your last four clip weft. And I love how these brighten my color. Now, if you have dark hair, you could use one shade lighter or darker or warmer to add dimension. Now, for the sides, they're very important if you have short hair or layers, so section your hair from just above your temples down to the back of your ears on an angle, and then clip in your two clip wefts on both sides. And clipping on an angle will make the extensions fall forward, filling in your face and that area in front of your ears. Let down your hair, curl the rest, and I love to brush out my curls with a loop brush. It's so gentle. Okay, for your one clip wefts, look and see, are there any spaces that need filling in? Above your temples is a great spot, also behind and in front of your ears to conceal short layers. I love how full my hair looks. Clip-in extensions are just such a great way to change or elevate your look, and they allow you to play around with all different types of hairstyles. And to remove, just simply work backwards. So trace above your weft, section off that top layer, and then push the middle of your clips to open them up and gently lift them up and out, and then close your clips before setting them down. Now, the no fuss option, the halo. I love this style of extensions. It's much faster to clip in, and they're great if you don't wanna spend too much time getting ready. And I wear the 180 gram 20 inch halo in beige blonde. So simply trace two inches back from your hairline, down and around your crown, and then tightly secure all the hair away, ensuring all of your ends are tucked. Now, when putting it on, make sure all of your clips are closed and just place the back on first and then place the front right where you sectioned your hair. Make sure your weft is laying close to your scalp and start in the middle. So open your clip, roll it back and insert it up and into your hair and closing it. And then just repeat with the sides. 
And to fill in the sides, you can add the two clip wefts on an angle, same as the full set. But let down your hair, brush everything to blend it, and you can't even tell you're wearing it. I just love how quick and easy these are to apply, and it's very comfortable. That's it. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and any questions that you have, comment them below and I will get back to you. But thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.